Here we are at a house, a gentleman um, is concerned about uh, copperheads. Uh, I guess he found one in this bush behind me here that I'll show you in a second. Uh, what I did was do a full inspection and advised onto harborages. For example, that grassy area right there is a good harborage, should be eliminated. The tree should be trimmed up to uh, allow you to see the trunk. And the same goes around there. Also the same with these bushes, which were the main concerns. That one and that one over there by the mailbox. What I did was I did a repellent program for the gentleman. I applied the repellent liberally all around the perimeter of the house. I'm not going to crawl through the bushes there to give you an idea. But you can kind of see what's going on. Okay. And then I did the same thing on the back side of the house but I did it all the way around the fence perimeter because he has dogs I was trying to give him some added protection you can see I applied it liberally all the way around and it is repellent I mean it's just like deer repellent um, if they come up and really sniff it they're not going to like it but if they're chasing a prey item or running from a predator, they could potentially pass right over it without any ill effects whatsoever. Um, but that's the idea. Also, he has a wooden porch back there. I went ahead and did around that wooden porch real good to keep it as a har uh, a less like a harborage. As a side note, I was speaking with the gentleman, and if you look there in this spider webs, and on top of that, you can see all that black. Those are bats, and you can see poops up there, higher, you kind of make them out. So he also has bats, but he's okay with the bats. They're on a the side of the house that doesn't bother him. And uh, he likes the fact that he eats mosquitoes, which is fine. As long as they're not causing damage or, or really putting a lot of poops up there, he's okay with it. So we're not going to mess with them. Alrighty. Thank you.